Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. My name is Matt, and thank you for stopping by the channel. Now tonight's pattern is another one from Dave Hughes Essential Trout Flies. This one is the Serendipity. A guy named Ross Marigold came up with this pattern. Now he was a Californian, he fished a lot in Montana, and as far as I can tell, he came up with it in the 80s, and it's been a pretty popular fly for about 40 years. The defining characteristic of it is the blunt deer hair wing, cut kind of short there, and then the body. It's just some kind of yarn or a Zelon or Antron spun pretty tight so that when you wrap it, you get the ribs, you get the segmentation. But it's a very easy fly to tie. After you've done a couple of them, literally, you can do one in about three minutes. But before we get into the tie, if you entered the raffle to win the J. Stockard Rotary Vice, stick around to the end, I'll be doing that drawing. So let's get into the serendipity. There it is in the vise, the serendipity. I'm going to be tying this on a size 14. It is a curved hook. You can use a scud hook or I believe this is a clink hammer. I'm going to put down a base. I'm using olive. This is going to be an olive colored one of 70 denier. Now get it caught in. You don't have to take it all the way back just yet because we're going to wrap our body from the front. So, like the original, Z-Line. This is one of the three strands of the Z-Line. I'm going to spin it to get a little tighter. Catch it in up here, up to the front. And I'm going to go ahead and snip that off before it gets too unwieldy on me. Now let's just capture this in. This will be part of the underbody. All the way back to well around the bend of the hook. You can do open turns here. So catch it in to as long as you want the body. I like it to be a pretty long one. I think it looks a bit better. Now go ahead and take your thread back up here to where we're gonna catch this off. Now, here's, the, here's how we make it segmented. You spin this, spin it into a tight rope, just with your fingers. I'm not using any pliers or anything here. Then when you wrap it, you will watch the point of your hook, but pretty much between every turn, you'll need to spin it again to keep it tight. So just take touch and turns and spin it in between each one of them, going all the way back up to the eye. Okay, now when you've got it up to the, about maybe an eye length or two behind the eye, go ahead and catch it off. Couple of tight wraps, and then, you know, however many you need to get it really secured in here before you trim this excess Z-line. Now it didn't take much. I had about a six inch piece, and that's gonna be enough to do the next fly. Let's go ahead and flatten this out just a bit. Now we take our deer hair. I believe this is a bleached. You can use a bleach or a natural, and it doesn't take much. So maybe about that much right there. That's a pretty good chunk of it. Pull any under fur out. And what you'll want to do here is cut it off flat. So we got a flat piece right here, and let's do a kind of a loose wrap to get it caught in, and then pull it tight back on my side, the side closer to you. And then another wrap in here, and I'm using 70 denier thread, so I can't yank down on it too tight. If you were using a six alt, you probably could pull a little bit harder, but you don't necessarily need to. Now, after you've got a couple of securing wraps, just work your thread up through the front of this head right here. 
three or four wraps will get that caught in. Now we do a whip finish. Try to whip finish right up under those front fibers right there. We're going to trim some of those so you don't have to be perfect. And I don't use head cement on these, so I do two whip finishes. Two, three, or four turns will work. Get your scissors in here and poke it through. Now the fun part. So, if you can get into your eye right there, and you can fish it, probably don't even need to trim much. But I usually do. The original was was trimmed pretty short here, just around the sides. I mean, it is a little bit of a head. And I think that's fine right there. Now take a look at it from the top. If you need to trim any of these on the side, you can go ahead and do that. See how I did that right there? Now I'll, I'll do a couple on this side. And now, just pull these back in about a third of the length of the body, snip it off straight. And there you have it. Now to fish this fly, you'll want to put a little bit of floatant up here in the, the butt ends of this deer hair. And then the body will sink into the surface film and this will keep up in the, in the, you know, on the surface and in the surface. So there you go. The serendipity, truly a, about a two minute fly. The only thing easier I can think of than this is probably a zebra midge. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. All right, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. I'm about to be doing the drawing for the J Stockard rotary vise I talked about a couple of weeks ago. How we're going to do this, just like we did last time, I've got, we had 17 people enter. I've got 17 names written down right here. I'll scroll through them real quick so you can see your name. And I'm going to take my number one dad cup. I've got 17 poker chips with numbers on them. And I will reach in here. You can see I'm not looking. And I'm going to pull one out. Number eight. Number eight it is. Number eight is John M. So John M, congratulations. You win the vice. Check your email. I will have sent you an email hopefully before this video is airing. And we'll exchange information on how we can get this to you. If you didn't win, folks, stick around. Next month, which next month is just a couple weeks away, we're going to hit 600 subscribers pretty soon. We'll be doing another one. So um, lots of chances to win in the upcoming months. I appreciate your support, folks. I really appreciate you watching. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to join in the fun, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. So that's all, folks. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.